welcome all of you in this lecture we are going to see plc architecture this is the diagram of plc architecture or you may say uh, it is the block diagram of plc okay let's see what is main part in this architecture this input module central processing unit power supply output module programming devices okay in this there is a input module in input module input sensing devices are connected this input devices are switches sensors push buttons or encoder this input devices may be digital devices means it give digital signal to the input module or it may be analog means it gives analog signal to the input module okay but for this central processing unit we required digital signal so this input module convert this signal into digital signal first okay in this way we can connect analog or digital input to the this central processing unit okay second the optical isolation okay optical isolation means this input module and central processing unit are not directly connected or not electrically connected these two unit are connected optically means here first it input signal come from this devices or push button to input module it convert it signal to the digital digital form and then this digital signal is converted into optical forms means in the form of light and it is transferred to the central processing unit due to this what happen if there is any problem in input module or input devices and high current or high voltage start flowing through it then it it damage central processing unit so to avoid it it is isolated from input module so it is connected optically so if any problem arise in input module it is not signal means it not damage the central processing unit so it is isolated okay then see central processing unit in central processing unit it per performs process on the program store in this memory okay it takes input from input module store it in memory and then run the program and according to program it stored output status on memory and then it is given to the output model okay then this central processing unit has three scan cycle that is input scan then program scan and then output scan okay initially when we start this plc it per uh, perform self diagnostic diagnostic scan means it first check is there any problem in this uh, cpu memory input module output module if there is any problem then it gives signal and it does not perform any operation on the input okay in this way the central processing unit works then next part is the memory okay then in memory there are main two part that is program memory and data memory okay in program memory main program that is plc ladder diagram or main program of plc is stored and in data memory it save the status of input out output or other software relay that uh, status of that software relay timers that is save in this data memory okay then this memory is divided that is memory has two type that is rom 
ROM and RAM. Okay, then ROM is read-only memory. In this ROM memory, we save the operating system. That is fixed data or operating system is saved in ROM type memory. And in RAM, there is user's program means which program we save in this memory that is save in the ram or in ram ram is divided in different parts that is uh, from software timers or counters okay that data of that or status of that timer or counter is save in that ram memory okay now ram is volatile memory means if we turn off the supply then it clears the memory but to avoid it the backup battery is connected that is lithium battery is connected to that ram memory okay then next main part is the programming devices okay you see here one desktop pc is uh, shown for programming but it may be laptop or maybe handheld device means small device uh, which is used for this programming okay now using this means this pc laptop or handheld device the program is stored in this memory and according to that it uh, central processing unit work or execute that program okay then next is the output model okay output model it may be here relay coils motor or buzzers indicators timers or light this output devices are connected to output model okay and this output model is also optically isolated means from output or from uh, this central processing unit the signal is transfer optically in the form of light not electrical means this cpu is also electrically isolated from this output module okay then this output module convert means here we can give digital input or digital optical signal then this digital optical signal is converted into other signal as per this output devices means how output device work on digital signal then the digital output is given if output device work on analog signal then analog output is uh, given to this output module or it may be work on other voltage range so this output module convert the, uh, that signal means according to this input digital sig uh, signal it convert to the output signal and it is given to that device it is it is depend on which device is connected to this output module okay then next main part is the power supply okay. this power supply gives supply to input module then this central processing unit memory and output module and you know what is the part of power supply that is first there is the transformer then rectifier then filter and then regulator okay it converts ac supply into regulated dc supply and that is given to input module this cpu and this output module okay in this way these are the main parts of this architecture okay input module central processing unit memory programming devices output module power supply okay. this uh, diagram or architecture is important for exam because many time it is asked in the exam okay